Hi everyone, Father Scott Vanderveer here, and I wanted to share with you today an insight that I picked up from a spiritual author named Martha Beck. She said that she has learned that so often if we flipped the script on things that we have been telling ourselves, we would find that the truth lies in the exact opposite of what we've been worried about. And that got me thinking about how many times in my life I have told myself a story about what a certain situation or circumstance meant and never considered other options. And she said, you can't even begin to consider any other alternative than the one that you've thought about unless you imagine the exact opposite of that. Because if you think about the exact opposite of whatever it is that you were dreading, for example, it is then in thinking about the opposite, you can say, well, well maybe not all the way to the exact opposite, but perhaps somewhere in the middle. Perhaps the, the situation that I see on the horizon is actually not the only one that's possible. Further, it might be that I'm imagining the most extreme version of what could happen, the most extreme outcome of a situation. Perhaps it not only is fair to say that my extreme is not the likely outcome, but might it be possible that not only is my extreme version too strong, but the exact opposite might be more likely than the outcome that I have suggested. Now, if this is starting to get a little bit like, mm, I, I, I'm losing you, all right. Let me give you an example of what she means. A lot of us have experienced saying to ourselves, I feel like something terrible is gonna happen to me. I have a feeling that something terrible is going to happen. That feeling is universal. That feeling robs us of joy because we don't want to enjoy the moment we're in because we're afraid that if we enjoy that moment too much, life will come and ooh, sucker punch us and hurt us unexpectedly. So one of the ways that we try to avoid those unexpected gut punches is to try to not hope for or expect anything. How sad that is but that is something that we do. So, I would like to present to you what she said is a way to flip the script on that. And it may cause you to feel a little aliveness in the same way that it caused me when I first heard it. She said she no longer says, something terrible is going to happen to me. She says, I am going to happen to something terrible. If something terrible is out there, it better watch out because I'm going to happen to it. Isn't that a complete change of story? Something terrible might be out there, but I'm going to happen to it. It is going to be defeated by my presence with it. Something terrible often is defeated by a human person's interaction with it. That happens all the time. So how beautiful for us to recognize something terrible is not gonna happen to me. No, I'm gonna happen to good things and mediocre things, things I want, things I wouldn't so much want, but I'm gonna happen to terrible things too. And because I am who I am, because I'm God's child, because I bring all that I bring to that, watch out, terrible things, because I'm about to happen to you. And I am going to drain you of your terrible power because I am not going to come empty-handed. I'm gonna come with faith and hope and love and tenacity and endurance. Yes, terrible things might be out there, but they don't have to attack me. They don't have to happen to me. I can happen to them. What other possibilities 
are out there for us to see things differently? How many other things are hidden in plain sight for us to recognize in a deeper way? What a great question for us to ponder. And for anyone out there who's dealing with afflictive feelings and thoughts that keep coming back and back and back, know that that taking that thought and playing with it, questioning it, getting curious about it, often is a way to greater peacefulness. It might be too much to expect that we can turn total anxiousness into total peace, but with God, we can. God's miracles can do that. But it is not too much to think that by getting curious, by getting questioning, by getting ponderous about those things that we've been telling ourselves, we can release ourselves, get a little freer from the bondage of being in the straitjacket of thoughts that afflict us. You are about to happen to something terrible. Watch out, terrible things. The people of God are here. Thank you for sharing this pondering with me. And may God bless you all.